Now, while I was leaving off, like I said, Second Estrus chapter 12, verse 11. The eagle whom thou sawest come from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of thy brother Daniel. And thy brother Daniel. Now, I just read about the vision that, uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, hmm, I just read about where Daniel was talking about the vision. But anyways, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Daniel chapter 7, verse 28. This is what Daniel says. This is the end of the matter after he had this vision. It says, I, Daniel, was deeply troubled by my thoughts and my face turned pale, but I kept the matter to myself. So Daniel, he was confused on what he was shown. But let me, uh, let me read where it was sealed up. Well, let me see okay now it says Daniel chapter 12 verse 9 he replied go your way Daniel because the words are closed up and sealed until the time of the end many will be purified made spotless and refined but the wicked will continue to be wicked none of the wicked will understand but those who are wise will understand now it said many will be purified See, many will be purified, made spotless, and refined. I just read that in Zechariah about how he said he would test them to the fire in the previous segment of this. So that's what he was talking about right there as far as the end times. They will be refined like fire. The third I have will be purified and refined. That's in Zechariah, what I was reading previously. So just wanted to show you that real quick and uh, let me see oh here's another thing too as far as the apocrypha right here for those who you are skeptical right you are skeptical about other books you like no I don't just trust no other book than the Bible well, let me read some of you in scripture as well Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens those who led men into righteousness like the stars forever and ever but you, Daniel, close up and seal the words of the scroll until the end of time. Many would go here and there to increase knowledge. So a lot of people are trying to find knowledge in different areas. But this was sealed up from Daniel. Now it has been revealed. I think the Apocrypha has been out for probably not that long. I'm not sure how old the book is. But this is what's been sealed up from Daniel. Now the cop I'm looking for to publish. Yeah, it said first printing. The first printing was 1992. So it was first printed in 1992, reprinted in 1994. So that means the early 1990s was the officially the beginning of the last days, the beginning of the end times, the early 1990s. Because as I just read to you, it was told to Daniel to seal it up into the end. So that means they didn't get a hold to it into sometime in the early eight or nineteen hundreds when they got a hold to the words that were sealed up. So nineteen ninety folks. So this book what? It's two thousand nine nine nineteen. This book probably what or like a little just ten years old, something like that. So just wanted to show you that real quick. Now, as I just read, as far as with Obama try to change the set times and uh, try to change the laws, and I was just reading out the estrus about that fourth beast that's gonna come, as far as destroying America. Now, I want to read real quickly on it as well about her, how it's talking about America in chapter 11 of Second Estrus. Now, it says, and there. This is second eleven second Esther chapter eleven verse forty five for those who have a apocrypha and want to read it themselves and follow me. And therefore appear no more thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body. forty six that all the earth may be refreshed and may return being delivered from thy violence. And that she may hope 
for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. Now the judgment and mercy of him that made her, not talking about the earth, but talking about the eagle. Talking about the eagle. It says that all earth may be refreshed and may return being delivered from thy violence. And that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. Now it's not the fact the earth has brought violence. It's the fact this eagle has brought violence. Going back up to verse 45. And there appeared no more thy eagle, nor horrible wings, wicked feathers, malicious head, hurtful claws, this great eagle. So this eagle being destroyed, now better hope for mercy when it comes to judgment. So when it's time for judgment, there it is. So her, her, this great eagle. I already taught about this. Like I said, America's Fall and Apocrypha. And I, I got other teachings as well as far as in Revelation chapter 18 teaching about the economy about the falling or the failing of the economy and what's going to happen and that's in Revelation 18 so I got teachings on there too and one of my first videos prophesying about the economy what was given to me from the Father through the Holy Spirit is called Revelation of the Economy and I'm giving revelation about the economy on that as well as far as how everything falling apart and collapsing so I'm trying to see if that's how I want to read oh yeah last but not least I want to share those scriptures I'm gonna give you a description as far as what it's talking about in the book of Revelation as far as the beast in Revelation 17 so that's gonna be my last part of the segment so this may just be a five part segment not as long as the other one but uh let me see. I was reading to, from Daniel chapter 6. I mean, oh, I'm going so fast. Daniel chapter 7 verse 6. After that I looked and there before me was another beast. One that like a leopard and on his back it had four wings like those of a bird. This beast had four heads and it was given authority to rule. Okay. I wanted to give you a description of that. And I'm going to read the other one real quick. And this is in Revelation chapter 17. So I can go and break that down for you confused people that scratch your head and be like, man, Revelation is hard. It's like calculus. And indeed, Revelation is the calculus of the Bible. You have to be extremely spiritually advanced in order to comprehend it. Without the Holy Ghost, you're wasting your time. Bottom line, people. But I'm going to read the description as well. It says, uh, 17... Revelation 17 verse 3 Then the angel carried me away in the spirit into the desert I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast That was covered with blasphemous names Had seven heads and ten horns The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet And was glittering with gold Precious stones and pearls She had a golden cup in her hand was filled with bomber things And a filth of all adulteries You already know that I already read that to you uh, The beast that has a lot of heads And the body of a leopard This is this same beast uh, that is talking about in Daniel that same beast because it said the fourth beast what happened is that's the one where a government right there that's the fusion because Daniel talks about all these beasts and now it's a fusion of these beasts it's a fusion where they together is one so the beast and the ten kings which the ten kings possibility high strong possibility is Obama's cabinet which I was teaching about that. Now it could be the UN. It could be Obama, his cabinet in the UN. But officially, no for certain, Obama's cabinet. Then the UN being on his side, that's a whole nother case right there. But, man, so much information. Whoa. I'm going to say this since I'm running out of time. This last video, to go and thoroughly break down the beast. The woman riding on the beast, what that mean? The leopard of the beast, the head of the beast, and I shall be finished with this work. Stay tuned. Well, for this work for now anyways, until more comes for me to teach. Next video, stay tuned folks.